Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. I'm Adam, and today we're going to be messing around with my Zima board that I have here. I have TrueNAS Scale installed on the internal storage, and then I have two uh, one terabyte SSDs that I have mirrored. So I have one terabyte of storage connected to this TrueNAS Scale install on here. Uh, these are only one gig ports, but Zima board does have a new Zima board out that has two gig ports, which is nice. I'm thinking about getting one of those. But today we're gonna to be messing around with this. I'm gonna install sync thing on the TrueNAS scale. And I'm also gonna install sync thing on my computer. And I'm gonna sync a folder and show you guys how to do that. So if you wanted to have data synced between one computer and another, the sync thing app will automatically do it for you. So we'll go ahead and get switched over to my laptop and I'll show you step by step how I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Well, I got TrueNAS scale already installed on the Zima board. It was my travel NAS slash my own travel Netflix that I could host locally and it had its own Wi-Fi. If you hadn't seen that video, I'll try to link it here or here. And it'll also be down in the description if you wanna check out that video after this one. I think it's a really cool video. So we'll go ahead and get logged into TrueNAS Scale here. And the way I installed Sync thing was I just used the apps that TrueNAS Scale had already on it. So you click on apps, um, probably behind my head and then you click on discover apps in the top right and you just search for sync thing and you install it and then you hit web UI. Now mine was complaining when I first installed it, hey you need to change the default uh, username and password. So I just clicked on the air but if you don't have the air just click on actions in the top right settings and then go to GUI. GUI and make a user and then type in a password that you want to use. And then when you hit save, you'll have to type in that user and type in that password. But it's very important to set that up. That way you're secure. And that's what that error message says. So I got same thing running on the Zima board here. Now my other instance is sync thing. I'm just gonna run here on my Windows 11 uh, laptop. And that's what these two icons are here for. The way I installed it on my Windows 11 laptop is I went to a link and I clicked on the ex executable file and I installed it. I'll have that URL down in the description if you want to install it on your PC too because uh, it took me forever to find that URL just so I could get sync thing installed on my computer. So if you hit start sync thing, this is it's already running. So this thing is sync thing configuration page. If you click on that, it'll pull up this. So I have an instance here on Windows 11 and the Zima board has a share that I set up, a network share, and I just named it YouTube. My get sync thing set up, when you put a file in one, it'll automatically copy it over to the other one. So that's on the TrueNAS scale instance here. And then on the Windows 11 instance, I'm just gonna make a folder on my desktop and point it at that folder. So on my Windows 11 desktop, this is the error that you'll get saying, hey, you need to make a user and password. And both of these have a default folder that it sets up, but you can click edit and you can remove it, which is what I'm gonna and then for this default folder, edit, remove. So now on both instances, we can add a folder and tell it what one you want to back up. And then you can also tell it where the other one's at. In this case, mine's going to be local IP addresses, the IP of my laptop and the IP of the Zima board. But you can do it across the internet and it encrypts the files across the internet. So you just fill in your WAN IP addresses. And the default port it uses is 22,000. So you just open up 22,000 on your firewalls on each end. All right, after you get that, I'll configure the user and password. Then you have to go to your TrueNAS scale instance and click on sync thing and hit edit. And you have to give it access to your share on your TrueNAS scale. So you scroll down to storage and then additional storage right here, you hit add. And then you go to mount a volume or SMB share. You can either do that or you can do host path. I'm not do host path and then you click on the path that you want and then for the mount path it's just the last one so in my case you can see it behind my head it would be slash youtube so i'm gonna go up here and copy slash youtube and that's as easy as that and then you just hit update and i'll restart it and what i just did was i gave it access to this folder right here now my desktop i'm gonna make a folder i'm gonna send name it youtube and now we'll configure the other end so the sync thing can see this folder here we'll give the folder a, a folder label let's we'll name it youtube and then after you do that down here on the folder path mine was already set up as youtube that share so i'm just gonna leave mine as slash youtube so on my sync thing on my pc i have the folder on my desktop so you do c users whatever your user is in my case 
it was gamer on my laptop slash desktop slash your folder name. And then you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name mine YouTube and you hit save. Now both these say unshared. So now we need to add a remote device. Or in this case, it's another device on the same network, but you can do the same network or you can do a remote device. So we're gonna start out doing it on my PC. I want a device ID. So we'll go over to the one running on my TrueNAS scale and get its device ID. So in this case, I just go to my other device, you click on actions and then click on show ID. And I'm not worried about showing this by the time I put out this video, uh, this thing's gonna be taken down and I'm not gonna use this anymore. So feel free to copy it if you want. So go ahead and hit copy and then go over to the other one, right click and paste that device ID. Device name, we'll just do TrueNAS scale. So since they're on the same network, my TrueNAS scale instance box found my other one here running on my laptop. So we'll hit add device device here. I'm going to name it Adam's Gaming Laptop. I'll hit save. And as you can see on both now, when I click back and forth, they are both connected. I just took it a minute because it tried to go over the the web because it thought these were in two different locations, but I realized it couldn't find it over the internet. So it started looking on the local network and it found the other one. And when it does that, you just hit add. So my laptop is at 192.168.4.44. And you can see that here when I pull up the command prompt, 192.168.4.44. And then my other device, my Zima board is at 192.168.4.52. So now we have to share these folders to one another. So you click on the folder, click on edit, share, true NAS scale and then you hit save this right here on your other one wants to know if you want to add new folder we can go ahead and hit add all right obviously i didn't need that second one i think once you set it up on one it does the other one so now it says up to date up to date so we'll test it here we'll put a file on youtube we'll just throw one of these other video files in it and then we'll hit rescan all and then if we go over to my shared drive on that zima board well, a couple of things I had wrong because obviously they didn't work. You didn't see the file on the other folder. You have to set permissions for sync thing to access that share. So you have to go to data sets, click on your share that you're doing. In my case, it's YouTube. On the right here, scroll down and click on permissions. Now yours will look a little bit different, but you have to add apps as a permission because it'll either say sync thing, but I couldn't find sync thing. So you, if you do apps, it'll just allow all your apps to that share. So if you click on user and you scroll down to almost the bottom, it says apps here. And then group, you just put apps, put can find it groups you just put apps and then make sure it has everything checked off on the right and then apply permissions recursively i'll just go ahead and check that just check it and hit save and that'll get apps permissions to this data set so if i go back to my data set and scroll here on the right apps has read write execute and then you have to add you, your user, to that file share, which is me, read, write, execute. That way you can move files onto it and move files off of it. And then another thing on my computer, when I was setting up where to save it, it needs a path. So I hit edit and I was typing in C users gamer slash desktop slash the folder. Well, I had to add one drive to it because I was wondering why I didn't see it or it wasn't moving any files. It's because you had to add one drive. If you look here on my desktop, this YouTube folder that I was trying to use, if you right click on it, show more and click on properties, location, C users, gamer, OneDrive desktop. I don't know why OneDrive's on there, but I'm gonna figure out how to disable that and turn that off because I hate OneDrive. I have my own storage. I will keep it local on my account in my house. So I'm gonna turn that off. I don't know why it says OneDrive, but I had to add OneDrive. And once I added that, then it started to work. And then also on my TrueNAS scale side, the folder path, it had to say slash YouTube. There's another little extra icon. Just go ahead and erase that and then put slash whatever your file is or whatever your file share is. So if I go back to apps here and I go back to sync thing and hit edit for your file share, it's down here when you added the additional storage mount path. See how this says slash YouTube or whatever you named yours, you know, slash whatever your name is. So make sure it says that on the sync thing here where you're saving it. And then if you go to advanced, you can click on folder type, send and receive. Make sure that's selected to send and receive. So as long as you have the folder paths right and the permissions right on TrueNAS scale, it'll work. So now that I got all that fixed, it'll work. I'll open up my folder here. These are just um, folders that it makes so it knows where they are. So it kind of sucks that they're there, but I'll just leave them. This is a file that I did that I recorded. So I'm gonna move it over. I'm just gonna right click and hit copy. 
copy and then paste. So now it's pasted in there. Now normally it does it automatically, but since we're checking so quick, you may have to hit refresh. So we'll go here to the share and there it is. If I do view large icons, there it is. And then if I delete it from one, it should delete here. We might have to hit refresh or rescan. Now it's gone. So it was a little bit of a pain in the butt to get it set up, but once you set it up, it is really cool. So in conclusion, if you want a semi-easy program to set up to run on two devices to back up folders and between the two devices, sync thing is your program for you. Uh, you can even install it on your phone. I have it installed on my phones, pointed to my pictures folder. So that way all my pictures and videos get backed up to my server. And then I also have it running on my server here and at the data center. So everything on my server here gets backed up to my server at the data center automatically. I don't have to think about it, which is great. And if you know what you're doing, uh, as you can see, it's fairly easy to set up. Um, you just have to mess around with it, make sure everything's set right, because you get one thing wrong, it won't work. But if you like to play around with stuff like me, it ain't too bad to set up. And as you can see, you can install it on something really small like the Zima board here with you know two SSDs for storage on TrueNAS scale. You can run it in a Docker container. You can install it on Windows. You can install it on your phone. You can pretty much install it on pretty much anything. So I really like SyncThing. I use it. I decided to make this video to try to show you guys how to set it up. If you do decide to try it and you have problems, drop me a comment. Maybe I can help you. If you like the video, drop a comment, hit the like button. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you went down there and hit that subscribe button. I'll have links to everything I used down in the description. They're Amazon affiliate links. They help me out. They don't cost you anything more. It just helps channel out if you click on them and buy your products with them. But I'm Adam and I'll see you guys on the next one.